Pakistan is not a quiet place. The culture is rich, the landscape is diverse, the history is deep, the people are hospitable, and the streets are loud, bustling places full of life. About 250 million individual stories are lived and told daily between Gilgit and Karachi to Lahore and Quetta. Every morning, 123 million men wake up to greet the sunrise. 117 million women rise up beside them. Over 102 million young people patiently wait for their 18th birthdays. The youth make up half the population of the country. In 2020, the country produced half a million graduates with about a 50-50 split between the genders. In a world where industrialized nations are suffering from a declining birth rate, Pakistan looks to have its future set according to its demographics. Yet this place that is so full of life is not immune to injustice. Everyday Pakistanis fold the sleeves of their kameeses to stand up to the many challenges that they have to solve. It is a country of survivors, surviving colonialism and partition, surviving bad leaders and corruption, floods and natural disasters. Pakistan is a country built on the resilience of its people. In a country of hundreds of millions of voters and even more cricket supporters, a country of drama watchers and kulfi eaters, there are some Pakistanis who fall quietly through the cracks and are completely forgotten. One such person is Afia Siddiqui, a 52-year-old Pakistani woman, MIT and Brandeis University graduate, a mother of three children that she so wished to raise and nurture alongside the dreams she had for her nation. Afia studied to be an expert in early years education and folded the sleeves of her kameez to solve this problem for her people. She was one of the very best that the nation produced, only for Afia to be taken away from her Pakistan and her children and taken away from the issues she set up to tackle. Afia was wrongly accused, wrongly convicted and has been unjustly held in a prison in Fort Worth, Texas for over 20 years. For over 20 years, Afia has not woken up to an unobscured view of the sunrise. For over 20 years, Afia's space at her family's dinner table has been vacant. For over 20 years, Afia has not counted runs nor celebrated during a cricket match. Afia has not attended her children's graduation because she is a mother separated from those she gave birth to. Afia will not even attempt to solve Pakistan's problems like she dreamed of. There are 250 million Pakistanis. The voters, the cricket supporters, the drama watchers, the coffee eaters, the youth, the men, the women, and the elderly. We are speaking to you. Will you be quiet or will you remember Afia when you watch the sun rise and set over your beautiful country? Will you be quiet or will you bring up Afia on your dinner tables? Will you be quiet about Afia when you celebrate your graduations and birthdays? Will you tell Afia's story everywhere you go? Will you raise up Afia's name so that she will have to come home? 250 million Pakistanis speaking out for justice is not quiet and it cannot be ignored.